Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. We're continuing our playthrough of the NES classic, Crystallis, and we return you to the next episode, currently in progress. Awesomeness awaits. Okay. So all that happened. <laughs> we were making our way through Mount Saver West, exploring the caves, getting lost, even with a map. Because in the grand old days, maps and caves didn't exactly line up the way they do in, in modern games. And I, I don't know if I don't know if that's just old man and on junior popping out because, you know, I am 40 adjacent um, or if it is that the, the, the current crop of games are uh, a little too handholdy. All right, let's charge up our sword. Let's make our way... Th oh, bother. I probably am going to have to teleport over to uh, an inn before too long, though. So that way I can replenish my magic. Oh! <laughs> that was the other thing I was complaining about. Hi. How's that? Does that work? Are you kidding me? I kind of wish there was a button for quick changing swords, but it was a long before games ever gave you a quick change anything. Alright, let's get the poisonous thing dead first. Then we'll take care of the spiders. With oh! Bother. That's the other thing. Uh, there was no notion of a clear dungeon. You, uh... Oh, come on. If you wandered into the frame that these guys spawned in, then they just spawned. Honestly, this probably would have been a better area to do the, uh, the XP grinding. I mean, look, I'm one-eighth of the way to level 11. I ain't playing with you. You now have the Tornado Bracelet. That replaces the Ball of Wind, and it now allows us to do a level 3 attack with the Sword of Wind. Uh, <laughs> the catch is your level 3 attack uses 8 magic points. So yes, you can do a wonderful Wall of Wind. Um... Uh, just at the cost of eight magic points. Like th this feels like one of those uh, those cheesy ads. You too can do a wonderful all in some terms you can just apply. Cost eight magic points per use. See your doctor if when wall of wind lasts more than four hours. <laughs> okay. Now. Now, it's time for something completely different. Now, now we can go and make our way up the cave. Uh, I need to go to... No, not A. I need to go into C. To see what he can see. Now, to see what he can saw. Isn't that the old riddle? Guy's stuck in a room with a mirror and a table. How did he get? How did he get free? He looked in the mirror to see what he saw. He took the saw and cut the table in half. Took two halves to make a hole, and then crawled out through the hole. I know it's a stupid riddle. It, even 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 someone who loves wordplay as much as I do, um, that's a stupid riddle. Gamma. There we go. Kill the spider. I'm trying to remember what these guys were. I mean, they, they look like little mobile jellyfish. Alright. Uh, 
you know what? Let's, uh, not, not a medical herb. Oh, ah, bloody oath. I... <laughs> oh. I, I got more medical herbs than I need. I need... <laughs> I need a couple of fruits of power and to have at least one more antidote on hand. Because I do not feel comfortable having only one... An no antidotes left. Um... Although I do have the warp boots. So you can always go back to the inn if you need to replenish, uh, if you if you have a status condition, uh, depending on the status condition. All right, let me just double check myself. That went to E, which we've already been through. That takes us to the same cave we could get. Okay. Okay. Because there's two ways to get to this frame here. Oh. Kill the poison thing first. Kill the poison thing first. Come on. Oh! Bother. <laughs> All right. Oh, come on. I'm so glad they don't let you accidentally drop the swords because I keep forgetting which, uh, ow. Which one's the one that I need to actually have handy? Um, this I'm going to break down because it... Hang on. I only got two buttons. How do I keep getting them confused? Oh, because they do 18 different things each. This takes us back to a cave that we've already... Uh, yeah. That takes us to a cave that we passed by earlier. So now... Yeah. Now we're going to keep heading this way. You know what? I love XP. I love money even more. But... This is getting to be a bit much. Oh, that's what I was going to complain about. <laughs> the the money for the inn. I mean, I've only made 9,200 on this little expedition. This little XP grind. Although, having said that, armor gets expensive quick. I'm not going to lie. That, that's no joke. Armor gets expensive quick. Although, considering that, that you got to basically uh, redo every level as you go. You know, you start at zero XP and then you got to get 8k. I'm not going to blow it down. I'm going to burn it to the ground. I didn't accidentally disable my armor, did I? Okay. Hello, Beach Duck. How are you doing today? No, 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 no. No poisoning. I already used my last antidote. <sighs> Man, I know that. You now have a magic ring. What did the magic ring do again? Oh, that's right. It doesn't tell me in the game. It expects you to use your manual. Items. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. You and me both. Magic ring. Magic rings restore all magic points. 
Oh, nice. Good. That's better than the Fruit of Power. Fruit of Power only restores 32 magic points. And we're, we're getting to the point that 32 magic points isn't, a, isn't much of a, isn't much of a help. All right. <clears throat> Anon Junior, I'm surprised you made it back. I'll now teach you teleport. This magic allows you to move from town to town instantly. Have a safe journey. You now have another thing to spend your magic points on. Have a safe journey. Have a nice day. All right. I need to get back to a town. There's a part of me that wants to go fight my way back down the mountain and back around to the town. Uh, because I like XP and I like having even more money than I have right now. On the other hand... On the other hand... Eh, we're only 10 minutes into what would be the episode, so let, let's go ahead and... Let's earn some cash, shall we? Because you know what you need to equip yourself for an adventure? Cash. Cold, hard cash. Oh, never mind. I'm poisoned. We're out of here. Let's go to Brian Amar. Did I not hit the right button? There we go. Yep. Yeah, keep taking damage, taking damage, taking damage. Need to rest? Yes! How do you feel? I feel much better. My status is now condition normal. <laughs> I hate that I had to spend 20 bucks on that. Alright. I clearly... I need to pawn off two of the medical herbs and go buy some... Uh, go buy some antidotes. Is there anything you wish to sell? Yes. <laughs> Can't sell your sword? Hmm. I don't know. Adventuring's told me otherwise. Sell the medical herb? Yes. Sell another one? Yes. Sell anything else? No. Please come again. Now, let's... <laughs> hey, this is kind of like real, real life. Taking extra steps to avoid talking to people. You wish to buy? Yes. An antidote. Oh, no. I think I wanted more than one antidote. Yes, I would like at least one more antidote. I would like an antidote, please. And I'm going to leave one slot open in case I come across something. I now have teleport. I've got the rabbit boots. I'm going to go put the sword of fire on. I'm going to save this game. <laughs> I'm either going to go file, save state, save. Just in case. Grab a sip of coffee. Alright. So now we need to make our way to Mount Saber North. This is where we're gonna find a new a new inn. This is where we're going to Oh Oh yeah. Okay. Yep, we got a lot of people to find around here. We got a lot of map to, a lot of map to traverse. Nah, that's fine. Let's uh, charge this up, shall we? And we'll start making our way over there. I, I hope, I can't remember. I hope the uh, the town's got, got some, um, <laughs> some better armor than what I've been able to secure so far. All right. I needed to go this way, I think. Oh. Boots only work if you push the right button. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. Hello, bigger slime. How about not dying in the poison? That'd be nice. Ah, fine. Alright, alright. 
right, all right. I'm getting lost in the money grub. All right, now we're at Mount Saber North. <laughs> and around the bend here should be... There we go. A nice random inn. <laughs> and now that we've been to the inn, we have a new place to teleport and use teleport boots to. The trail is blocked off and strange people wander there. It's quite weird. So is the fact that everybody's walking around the room in a random way. I mean, they look like Jubba when he's getting restless. Just pacing this way and that. And as soon as one of them grabs a squeaky pig, then... uh. The food here is great. I wish I could eat like this always. Welcome, I guess. I am Nader. Get rested and awake refreshed. All right, this side is, not long ago, a guy from Bayanamar left to climb the mountain. I envied the youth with so much energy. I may be old now, but in my youth, I could climb many mountains easily. My son is still a wimp compared to me. Ouch. <laughs> That's rough, dude. All right. And this was, oh, do you wish to buy? Okay, I'm glad we bought the antidotes back at uh, Brynamar. They're, they're, they're a lot cheaper there. We can get Fruits of Power now, which is good. They're more expensive than Oak, which is surprising. And... Mm, same with Warp Boots. Alright, and... Okay, 50 bucks for a night. That's inflation. We went from 20 bucks to 50 bucks. Nope. I mean, I should. I'm short 10 magic points. Everyone counts, right? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I didn't want to talk to you. I just wanted to walk out the walk out the path. It's you. I had a dream I could strike it rich, but alas, I failed. I was captured by some strange people. They put me in a cave. I also saw people from Leaf. They were all being forced to work. But I escaped, and they found me. I cannot move. Hold on, hold on. Help is like literally ten paces that way. Oh, to have tasted Nader's food again. I am. Yeah. Uh. This feels like a Monty Python bit. Is it ah? Or ah? Okay. Oh, he's already dead. Well, I don't know. He's not warm and dead. He is on the icy part of the mountain. And if I remember talking to paramedics, you're not dead until you're warm and dead. I know. That, that's a little more morbid than most people want to think about. Alright. Let's, uh, let's go start some stuff over here, shall we? I hear someone talking. Are those worthless villagers working well? Well, they're used to the cold weather and I haven't heard any complaints. But of course it's difficult to complain when you're not allowed. <laughs> we must make them work harder. Long live the Dragonia Empire! Yeah, I'll spend the extra magic points. Oh. Okay, I shouldn't have spent it quite so soon. Alright, what's the soldier's pay? Eh, not that bad. Alright, you know what? I probably should go replenish my magic first before adventuring further into the cave, because I spent more than I should have there. I hate spending 50 bucks just to do that. And before something really, really bad happens, let's go ahead and save the, save the game. Yeah, saving the game seems like a really good idea when you're about to 
walk into the, the cave of death with soldiers who are looking to murder you the second you walk in. Oh! You're back? Man, they, uh... They replenish the guards awfully quick. Oh, hey, I didn't pick up your dude's pay. I think I'm about to walk in with even less magic than the last time. That did not work out so well. You know what? Maybe it's time for a break. Well, that was fun. Unless I died. Then it was a little less fun. I hope you enjoyed the series so far. The next episode should roll out tomorrow, unless tomorrow's a live stream day. The current schedule is over on my Twitch profile. There's a link in the description below. If you haven't already, do follow in Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live, allowing you to chat along as we record the next six episodes. Or chat along with whatever else I got going on. I do a variety of things, just like here. Speaking of here, if you're not already, please do subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. Click the bell and you'll no get notified of all the new content produced from future Games Revisited episodes to Coffee Craft Livestream Archives, Instrument Repair, Upgrades and Construction, and uh, anything else that strikes my fancy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions, quips, queries, quandaries, quotes, complaints, comments, or quibbles, just uh, leave those in the comments below. Have fun. Enjoy, and I'll see you next time.